Shalom Aleichem. Hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful week. This week is Parshas Vayigash. And we are told in this week's Parsha, finally we're going to have that reunion of Yaakov and Yosef after so many years apart. And Perak Memvav, as Yaakov is about to go down to Mitzrayim, we're told, Vayisa Yisroel v'chol ha-shelo, Vayavu Be'er He gets to Be'er Sheva, Yaakov does, and he brings Karbonos. And then there in Be'er Sheva, we are told, Vayomer Elokim li Yisrael b'maros halayla, Vayomer Yaakov, Yaakov Vayomer Hineni. And then Hashem reveals himself and says, Al tira merda mitzrayim. And here there's a very, very important comment that is made by the Meshachach, he's bothered. We're told in the Pasuk, Vayomer Elohim li Yisrael, b'maros halayla, and then it says, Vayomer Yaakov Yaakov. So why this duality, Yisrael and Yaakov? So comes the Meshach Chachmin, says with a big, big Yisrael, he says, the name Yaakov, once Yis- Yaakov had his name changed to Yisrael, we're no longer, it's not that we're only going to call him Yisrael from now on. When it comes to Avraham, we no longer call him Avram. When it comes to Yaakov, he's referred to as Yaakov, he's referred to Yisrael. Here in, Bo- in the Pasuk, he's referred to as Vayomer Lukimu Yisrael, Bemaros Halayla, Vayomer Yaakov Yaakov. So says the Meshach the name Yaakov, the old name Yaakov, Akev, is the name that when Yaakov is going to be confronting a tzara, when he's going to be confronting a challenge in his life, that's Yaakov. When he succeeds in overcoming that challenge, Kisarit imalokim ve'imadom vatuchal, that's the name Yisrael. Yisrael is the conqueror, is the name of, of the godless, of the achievement of the Yisrael. And the name Yaakov is, if you will, the name of Golos, the name that is not going to achieve. And this is a certain duality that we have in Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov is, has these two aspects. On the one hand, he's Yisrael, he's exalted. On the other hand, there's an element of Yaakov. And in this sense, perhaps a microcosm of the Jewish people as well. And you'll notice, Yaakov, nighttime is his time. The appearance of Hashem here is Bemaros Halayla. Yaakov is the Av that is metaken Tfilas Arvis. Yaakov is the one who's going to be bringing Bnei Yisrael, the family, from Eretz Yisrael, the light of Eretz Yisrael, Yisrael, to the darkness of Golas, of Mitzrayim, of Yaakov. And right now, Yaakov has this realization, we're going down to Mitzrayim, it's going to be the fulfillment of the Brisbane of a son that was given to Avram, that we're going to be Avadim for a very long time there. And Hashem says to him, al tira. Don't worry, Kilagoy Gadol. Even though you're going to Mitzrayim, it's going to be a bitter, bitter Golos of Avdus for 400 years. Don't worry, you're going to come out. You're going to emerge as a great nation. And this is the story of Klal Yisrael. This is the story of Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov Yisrael, that yin yang. There'll be times when we are Yaakov, Yaakov, Yaakov. It's dark and we don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, it's Yaakov who's metakin tefilas. Arvis, Hashem appears to him in Maros Halayla. Yaakov is the Av that's going to bring us to Golas, says the Meshechachma. The Tfilas Mariv is, we also assume that, Karbo, that Tfilas connected Karbonos Tiknun. Which carbon is Tfilas Mariv? The answer is, is the Evarim and Pedarm, the fats and limbs that are put on the Mizbek in the daytime, but burn overnight. That transition, day, night, Yaakov Yisrael. But the message, of course, is that even when we experience those down times, that Golis, we'll still have Hashem appearing to us by Maros Halayla, and Hashem's going to tell us, Al Tira, don't worry. It's going to, you're going to emerge. You're going to pick yourself up. You're going to develop. It's temporary. It might be a long temporary, but it's temporary. And that's the message of Yaakov Avinu. That's the message of this Golis and every Golis. We always emerge. It might take time. It might be challenging. But that name, Yaakov Yaakov, is going to enable us to persevere during those dark periods and then emerge as Israel. Have a wonderful Shabbos Kodesh.